And we're back, baby, <laughs> 10 minutes later. Again, it's about working smarter, not harder. And what color does green make whip red? Bootleg opinions. I think I thought you said I was gonna intro this. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh my god. <laughs> it's time to go back, back, back again to season what? Sixening, that's right, my good old season from 2014. So as we did with the season 10 review, which if you didn't watch, click the link right here or here, not for sure where you click on YouTube these days. You, we, but we are gonna have to take this with a grain of salt because obviously drag has transformed since almost a decade ago. But that being said, let's get into these sickening looks. Fun fact, did you know that I was almost in the same season as y'all? I was an alternate. I didn't pass the psych test. Oh, see, you've always been bootleg. I love it. Oh, what's the category for this? Do you want to go into it or no? The category is season six promo looks. I think the category is more like leather, sex, black, you know. Oh, the actual category, I got you. The category was black with pops of pink. And you cannot think of Drag Race without thinking of season six because it is what? Sickening and legendary and iconic. I truly think we have the breast promo, hands down. I'm not just saying that because I'm on it, but it was just so iconic. And the way they created all the different scenarios that represented the different queens, like for instance, how Bianca was throwing shade at me and I was behind blinds. It really set up for what the season was gonna be about, which is why I think it was so successful in its execution. So y'all had the best promo and we had the worst promo. <laughs> That seems to be uh, correct with the track record we're seeing here. <laughs> because you do need some yin and yang to balance life out, right? <laughs> That's right. We were the light and you were the darkness. Y'all were the official and we were the bootleg. Y'all already know this. You spend about one third of your life sleeping, which is why having the right mattress is super important. This video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Keep watching to find out how you can save up to $200 plus get some freebies. Oh my God, what is that? Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and beddings that are customized to your needs and conveniently shipped to your home. Listen, everybody's way of sleeping is different. That's why they have a sleeping quiz to match everybody's unique body types and sleeping preferences to make the perfect mattress for you. I myself prefer something soft and I love sleeping on my sides, which is why I have chosen a Sunset Luxe from Helix Sleep. It arrived at my footsteps and unboxing it was super easy. No crazy trips to the mattress store and dragging it home whatsoever. But is it easy to sign up? Trust me, they got something for everybody's unique taste. And if you sleep with a partner, take the quiz together to find out the perfect mattress for both of y'all. I used to think to myself, oh my God, it's just a mattress. I'm gonna lay there anyway and not do anything. But let me tell you, sleep matters. And Helix Sleep is here to help you. So let them help you. I've now been a user of this mattress for almost a year now. And let me tell you, it has changed my life. I fall asleep faster now, I don't wake up with back pains anymore, I'm more well rested and ready to slay the day and make it more productive. Compared to my old mattress, mama, that was garbage. I love how soft it is, I promise you there's something for everyone. You can personalize your mattress even more by adding the Glacial Text cooling cover. It's a great way to keep cool and also save some money during the summer when you don't have to turn on the AC. The best part of it all is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. So give yourself an upgrade to a Helix Sleep mattress by going to the link in the description. Get yourself up to $200 off and also two free pillows. And trust me, having the right sleep is super important. I know we're done filming, but I really don't want to get up. I love how comfortable it is. <laughs> we first up have Courtney Act, who just looks so gorgeous in this. When I first saw her in this look, I was like, she is giving you a biological woman walking down daylight and she does look beautiful in this and she did excellent on her season. Absolutely. Well, we would categorize this look as pretty simple nowadays. I think for back then, this was just drop dead gorgeous. I mean, like you said, she looks like a biological female. She still does to this day. One of my favorite drag queens as far as it comes to looks. And I think she looks so hot. I love this black latex short mini dress with this gorgeous accessory, kind of like a rosary with little roses on it. I love the black pump. I love her positioning of her feet. I love her hair. I mean, this is a total knockout. And she has went on and slayed in many television shows since Drag Race. Just not Drag Race, because you know, you know, her and Rue, all that shit. Yeah. 
Next up is Bianca Del Rio. I tell you, when New York saw this promo look of Bianca, we were not ready and we did not expect it. So in New York, her aesthetic is very 60s, very go-go girl, very those big chunky pumps. So when we saw this, we were like, um, Bianca serving sex? Um, hello? And in this season, she knocked it out of the park in the challenges, whether it was acting, musicals, runways, or making your own garments. She delivered in this season. A rightful winner for sure. I agree, this is one of the most sexiest Bianca has ever looked. I love the silhouette. She's got this itty bitty tiny waist, and I love the way she's done her hair. I think it's really classic drag with a little twist because of that top. And while we would say it is pretty simple now, I think for back then it was a total shocker, especially for, like you said, people who knew her and were expecting her to go with her more iconic 60s style. And I also really love her black half glove. I think that's super modern, super dominatrix, and really kind of adds an edge to the whole look. And I love her promo when she was in front of the library, just tearing those pages out. Shay, yes! You see, when we're excited, we have stuff to talk about, unlike my season, girl. <sighs> She's a mermaid, duh! It's Adore Delano from American Idol on to Drag Race. When I saw her face pop up in the promo, I was like, I know this I know her, I know her from American Idol. And she was so funny on this season. In this promo look, she's got this pink hair that is so big with this little hat, the cutout, and then the little peplum on the dress. It is just sex kitten goddess. Who wants to get naughty with her? Again, I think this look is a little simple, but it's also very classic. I mean, looking back at it now, it's such an amazing look, and I think what really sells this look is the hair. I love how part of the hair is coming through her fascinator. I love that she's got a bangle that really references the black and white of her outfit. I love the silhouette. I mean, she really does look gorgeous. Up next, we have my good sister, Miss April Carrion. And baby, she is carrying. I mean, talk about sex on a stick. I love this red siren hair and this see-through slinky dress. Again, more simple, but she looks so beautiful and very well put together. She does look beautiful for the time period. This is so sexy with the see-through mesh material and this pop of red hair. I do actually have a picture of her when I met her in the premiere, so I'm gonna insert it over here. Up next, we have the cool waters of Darien Lake, and she is giving us body, oddy, oddy. Now, I'm not crazy about this dress. Even though it is sexy, it somehow still feels a little matronly. I think it's probably because of the crystal adornments on the collar and on the center of her outfit. But I do think she looks really great. I love the hair, and I love the mug. I agree with you about the jewelry. I think a smaller necklace or a small little brooch over here to balance it out would have been good because right now there are two big pieces that just a little bit too much. And I do enjoy that this look represents the type of drag that she is. Very old school, very traditional, and very Darien Lake. Next up is La Ganja Estranja giving you legs for days, mama, because these legs are everything. I think you look good in this with this neon pink hair, with this body. I think we actually talked about this look in a previous video before, and this post was iconic. It was very Beyonce, but Beyonce would hold the mic over here, but you did over here with the nails. Yeah, I still really stand by this look. Again, I have to point out, it's very simple. I think they obviously were paring us down for the promo, but I think it's really iconic. I love the way that my body is showing. In fact, I kind of wish I had that body again. It was so snatched, but I am enjoying my hormones and falling into my femininity, but I do appreciate my young Twinkie self giving you just full on fierceness. Now, fun fact, if you zoom in onto the nails, it almost looks like there's clips, but what's really happening is there was spikes glued onto the nails and the spikes were coming up at the very end. So it created like a clip looking effect, but it's actually just, you know. Up next we have Magnolia. Crawford and she is giving you hook realness now I don't like this look I'm sorry I mean yes it's very similar to a lot of the other ones we've seen in its simplistic nature in its simplistic nature but this tight is just giving me hot topic this hair is giving me 70s I don't know I'm just not featuring this one 
I think if she has some leather huge gloves, like the Rihanna gloves, and maybe like a really short pump or like a booty pump, that would work. I think it's a little bit nude and simple over here. It just seems like a dress thrown on. But I think that for the time period, it was okay, I think. I'm dying at how you keep saying time period, girl. Like as if we're going back to the 1950s. Girl, this was 10 years ago. Um, now I wanna ask y'all, did y'all have a stylist like our season or did you get to wear what you wanna wear? Cause these are a lot better than, you know, we definitely had a stylist. In fact, my whole outfit was provided by the stylist. I did not get to wear what I brought, but I like what they did with me, so I was cool with it. What did you bring initially? I have no idea what I brought. I really don't remember. It was too long ago, and I've had too much green intake. She brought a black t-shirt and black leggings and a black sneakers. <laughs> No, 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 That's what you would have brought, baby. Look at what you're wearing and what I'm wearing. Uh-huh, don't try it, Miss Thing. Baby, I am bootleg, baby. I am on brand. Oh, I have to plug my computer in. Baby, look at what you're wearing and what I'm wearing. Baby, look at what you're wearing and what I'm wearing. Baby, look at what you're wearing and what I'm wearing. Baby, look at what you're wearing and what I'm wearing. Baby, look at what you're wearing and what I'm wearing. Oh, I have to plug my computer in. Remember a while ago, so they had the Dolly Parton runway on All Star 7, and I said, what did y'all think about the naughty Dolly Parton look? And you were like, oh. Yeah, I don't remember it. You'll have to show the receipt, sweets. Honey, we are all about receipts. Up next, we have good old Big and Milky. Now, again, I just have to keep pointing out, they're so simple, these looks. It's so weird. It's like, let's do a drag show, but then make the promo all very simple. It's like, huh? I don't get it. But she looks... Good. I love her hair. I think her hair is really kooky. I love the black gloves. It's giving her a long arm silhouette. And I love the chunky shoe. Yeah, I agree the dress is very simple, but I think that for the time period, it was okay. I think that what stood out from Milk in this promo look is her makeup and aesthetic with the hair and the lips and the eyes because I think that for that time period, you don't like hearing that word, so for that season, that we aren't used to that type of drag yet. And I think that that stands out. And I actually saw her this week in New York Fashion Week and we got a photo together. But while I was looking through the photo, I was like, damn, I was stepping on her dress the entire time. How sweet. Yeah. Next up is Trinity K. Bonet. And I think that this standard of drag that she sets for this promo look still lives up to today. This gorgeous slicked back hair, the details with the French of the dress with the cutouts, the latex gloves, the muck, it still lives as today's standards of what drag is. This is gorgeous. I agree, she is giving us future drag and she totally nailed it. It's glamour, but it's still sexy. I love these see-through cutouts. I love the way she's done her hair and makeup. And I think she just looks really hot. She looks hot. <laughs> Up next, we have Miss Vivacious, and I'm loving what she's giving us here. I think this coat is really cool. Everyone loves a good old houndstooth, and I love how it's trimmed with a different pattern with the stripes. I think that mix of patterns is really, really cool. I love her headpiece that matches. I love that she's giving us a bald head, great proportion, long legs. I mean, it's a knockout. I agree. The only thing I would change about this is the shoes. I would probably make it black or something like that. And I think that this jacket that she's wearing and this hat still lets it to today's standards of what drag fashion is. Next up is J -J -J Gia Gunn. And I think she looks great in this. I agree, Gia looks fantastic. I mean, are you kidding me? The way her hair is swinging in the background, this little bandeau top, these latex gloves. She's giving you body, she's giving you fierceness. I love the boot. I think it's all just hitting and sitting. And you cannot think of Drag Race with a lot of iconic moments from Gia Gunn. She starts with a lot of catchphrases and also a lot of phrases that you still say to this day, including myself. Up next, we have the girl who sent me home, Miss Wonk Wonk, Jocelyn Foxy. And she is very foxy. Although I have to tell you, don't love the tights. I'm just not a big fan of patterned tights. I love a classic fishnet, like very musical theater, but that's about as far as I go. So I'm not loving what's on her leg. The bodysuit is sexy. I mean, she's giving us booby, ooby, ooby, and I do love that. The hair seems a little crunchy unchy though, so I don't know, it's not my favorite. So we got body yaddy yaddy, we got crunchy crunchy OG, and we also have booby, ooby, ooby. <laughs> I agree, it's a little bit simple, but I do enjoy that there's still details on the leotard though, if you really zoom in. But I don't mind the straps on the legs though. I thought that was fine and cool. She does look beautiful. She's all laid out in the center. Just like a ring on a circus. 
Up next is the iconic Baconator Miss Kelly Mantle, and she is giving us sort of a holographic printed gown. Again, very simple, but I think she looks chic, and of course, I love a good bob, baby. And you cannot think of Kelly Mantle without thinking of this promo look because there's a bunch of memes out there of her just posing, including at the Met Gala, at the Emmy Awards, just all over the place. So what you're saying is, she's iconic. She's iconic. Q-U-E, not C. So who is your favorite promo look out of season six? I'd have to say my favorite look out of season six is either me or Gia Gunn. I really am team too much with this. I'm sorry. I feel like we nailed it. We looked excellent. We looked sexy. We were meeting the brief. So yeah, I'm going to stick with team too much. If you were to pick one person out of team too much, who would it be? Oh, myself. I'm always going to pick myself, honey. Are you kidding? I'm in it to win it. Well, apologies, my favorite is actually Trinity K. Bonet or Vivacious, but I'm going to give it to Trinity K. Bonet. Yay! You are hateful. You are hateful! I'm giving you my honest, official bootleg opinion. Let's do like you did me. Let's do like you did me. Top three. In today's standards, I would say Vivacious, Trinity, and also maybe Gia? Four? Top four? April or Adore, and then you. Oh girl, in this video, you have awful taste. I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> you had awful taste too. You put me at number six or seven inches, girl. <laughs> I said six. You were six. You were six. And eight. <laughs> well, you were six on mine too then. But anyway, Laganja, thank you so much. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Bye. Okay, <laughs> see you next time, Gorge. Mwah. Hey, squirrel friends, when one video ends, just click on another one. It's called cringe viewing. Go ahead, I support you.